Welcome to today's video on long range tactics. We're gonna take a look at the Miopta S2 spotting scope. Right, here is the business into this spotter the gigantic 82 millimeter objective lens as you can see there it's the Miostar s2 82 millimeter with hd lenses the image this thing provides is seriously stunning i have thrown it up against x series suaros and it scares the heck out of them for about half the price i do think the x series is a little bit better but you're literally splitting hairs in the field i couldn't see it on a resolution chart i think you will uh, but this spotter compared to everything else in its class and less I have yet to see it be bested and it honestly beats some of the Similar price scopes by quite a bit up on that front end. It also has a Sliding sunshade. So if you need to use that I have found I have to use that very minimal But it's nice that it's there when I have needed it as with most angled spotting scopes It has the ability to rotate around itself. So if you just simply loosen this set screw you can adjust the body that makes for different angled viewing fairly easy it has a center wheel focus this thing is awesome it's very fast you know to make macro adjustments and then once you get used to it you can make those little minor adjustments to get everything into perfect focus and then on the back you have an eyepiece this spotting scope has multiple eyepieces available i chose to go with the 30 to 60 wide angle and I do not re do regret that decision at all. That eyepiece is simply amazing. It has a huge field of view on 30 power. You feel like you can see everything. It is crystal clear. And then when you dial up that power, you know, 60 power, it's still clear as can be. But I found generally, I don't like that much magnification. It's rare for me to have days where, you know, the atmospherics allow for that much magnification without kind of distorting the image. <clears throat> One thing to note, you'll see back here, that I no longer have the rubber around that eyepiece. That is because that was a little bit too big when I'd go to put a phone scope on there. It didn't really want to hold very well or my Nova grade adapter, either one just, it was just a little too big. This barrel was smaller diameter than the rubber eyepiece. So after fighting with that for a few years, one day I just cut it off and I have not missed it at all. A lot of guys like to glass with the eye cup up. I don't. I leave it down 100% of the time, so having that rubber gone is no big deal. If you wanted to change eyepieces, there's a little button down here. You click that button. It's a bayonet-style connection, quarter turn, half turn out, and you can swap eyepieces pretty easy. But as you can see, that is just a beautiful, beautiful optic. I do run it on this small tripod most of the time, even though it is a big optic. I have found that in the backcountry, I can get away with that little bit smaller tripod. Uh, you know, I'm sitting down with that obviously, but it works rather well. Also, I have chose to go with an Arca style uh, adapter. Just screws right down into the bottom. Any adapter you need should work. It's just got quarter 20 threads. This spotting scope, naked as it sits without this adapter, was four pounds exactly. So it is not a lightweight. Uh, I actually run it with a cover on. I'll show you how that goes here in a minute. By the time I've got that cover and this Arca plate, I am four pounds, seven ounces. So it's a little heavy, but to me, the image quality is always worth it. All right, now we're back and you can see I have the cover on. This is like a neoprene style cover. This is what I always use when I go into the field. In fact, it hasn't been off my spotter since I bought it until I filmed this review. Uh, it is a little heavy by the time you've added it all up, but I feel it's worth it to protect your investment. So on the back end, I just simply have a button type cover. Just comes right off. And then on the front end, see if we can see that a little bit. There's one of these uh, click style covers. There's also a neoprene cover that can go over the front, but I found that once I had this, it didn't matter. My only complaint with this when I got gloves on, these are a little narrow, trying to get my hands in there and get a hold of them is kind of tough. Uh, so I usually have to take my glove off, but I'm not doing that very often. And then to put it back together, everything snaps back on super quick. And it's uh, 
ready to go back into my backpack or on the outside of my backpack, however I'm gonna haul it around. Well, after owning this spotting soap for five years, I can give it two big thumbs up and I can recommend it 100%. In its price range, I do not think you will touch it in terms of quality. You know, it's gonna take you about double the money before you find anything better. And for me, that's just left me no desire to upgrade or change. It's simply that good. Optically, it has never left me wanting. You know, every time I look through that thing, it just impresses. You pull it out of the backpack, throw it up on the tripod, and it just is beautiful. You know, it's, it's hard to describe that, but it really does bring a smile to my face every time. And then on the days when Mirage, you know, is minimal and conditions allow it, I can crank that thing all the way up to 60, and it is just crystal clear all the way up. So it is my favorite optic. I recommend it 100%. If you have any other questions on it, let us know down here in the comments. Also, like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media on both Instagram and Facebook. We also have a Facebook group, Long Range Tactics, where you can come join and ask questions and kind of read what other people are doing. And we have a new website, longrangetactics.com. That'll hopefully be growing, so check that out as well. Thanks for watching.